Welcome back to the channel. Today we are back on the defensive side of the ball looking in the Detroit Lions playbook and we have cooked up a great blitz for you guys today. DB Blitz 3 is going to be what we're looking at. Dime Sugar Week is the formation and Sugar Week is only in a few playbooks. Detroit, uh, I think New England and Denver, I believe. I think according to Madden School, New England and Denver are the other two playbooks. You can go look look for yourself though and see exactly what Sugar Week is. Uh, Sugar Week is in. We are in Detroit. Detroit's playbook. DB Blitz Three is the blitz, like I said. But before we get onto the field, we do have to make some adjustments to you know what, the, what we're looking at here. So we want to click down our R three button and get to our coaching adjustments. We want to have auto flip off. If the blitz gets flipped to the right, it gets kind of wonky and the alignments get all, get all mixed up. I, I don't know. I don't know. Talk to EA on that one. And then I leave my auto alignment on base or I put my auto alignment on base. And then we come back to the play and then I'm going to flip this play to the right. That's why we turn this or we're going to flip it to the left here. That's why we turn this auto alignment off because it'll mess it up once we get onto the field. We always want the blitz to be coming from um, our left side of the field. And of course, once you, you know, if you're not calling this blitz, you can put auto alignment back on if that's what you'd like. Really whatever you want to do on that part. But I really like the blitz coming off this left edge here. Um, uh, not that it, like I said, not that it can't come in off this right side. It's just the alignments get a little goofy, a little bit wonky on the field. So I just wanted to always come in from this left side, keep it consistent. DB Blitz 3, let's get on the field and let's just show you exactly what we're talking about with this three man pressure here. So of course, I'm gonna be user controlling Jack Campbell in the middle here. I did sub out Josh Allen because he just breaks every single DB sack uh, and that's the guy we're trying to loop in. So like I said, we're gonna be controlling Jack Campbell in the middle and really we just wanna hover over the center and occupy him for that half a second uh, once the ball is snapped. But the two guys we're gonna be dropping in a coverage here is, is DJ Reader. Of course, I didn't make any subs here. I'm not playing an opponent. If you're playing an opponent online, Please sub in good players that can cover and, and you know, rush the passer a little bit, a little bit of speed and end zone coverage. But we're just going to drop him into, you know, a vert hook here, say over the middle. And then we're going to, have, you know, he this guy's usually back here a little bit. And then we're just going to drop Anzalone into a hard flat. And you can see we're going to have eight guys in coverage here, which is just absolutely beautiful. Of course, the offense does have, uh, you know, everybody going on a route right now. We are going to block to the running back. And, you know, we're going to block up six and we'll kind of show you what that uh, looks like as well. But as for just, you know, the blitz coming in, everybody going out on routes, you can see, like I said, the offense has everybody going out. We're only going to be sending three people, two, off, two defensive linemen and uh, Mosley over here. And of course, always with these blitzes, acceleration, acceleration, acceleration on the players you're sending at the quarterback. That is what's going to help it come in faster. Speed is great, but acceleration on these blitzes is where it is at. So we're just going to be user and Jack Campbell, like I said, over the center here. And we're going to see if we can't get this looper to come right in. And actually, it kind of worked out um, a little bit differently than, than with the looper here. And what happens is we're just overloading this left side of the offensive line. Uh, you know, really, they're accounting for almost four blitzers, you know, with the three blitzers that we're actually sending at the quarterback. And then we're kind of confusing the offensive line by doing the, uh, you know, just staying right over the center. And it just confuses them just a little bit. And you can see, I mean, it just, it just breaks the offensive line. They don't know what to do, and we get a free rusher right here. A lot of the times, this looper, uh, this looper right here, is going to be the guy to come around the edge. But I mean, sometimes you just get that B gap heat, and you know that's beautiful. That's even better. If, that, if you if I could make that consistent every time, that would be that would be better yet. But here, let's just set it up again. Again, we're just going to you know huddle over this center, you know, snap this blitz, and boom. You can see that's exactly what we're trying to do. That's, that's the action that we're looking for, and we're only sending three guys at the quarterback. I can't overstate that enough. We are still dropping eight cover, eight in coverage. And this is basically, I mean, here we're kind of Anzalone sort of, or uh, Jack Campbell sort of got caught in the wash there. So let's kind of run that again. So we'll just set it up again here, and I mean, pretty simple again. We're only sending three at the quarterback. That's a really good look. And again, we don't want to actually engage with this center here. We really just want to, you know, hover over him, make him like plant his feet real quick, and boom, drop back into coverage. And they actually do a pretty good job there picking it up as well. Uh, didn't I probably didn't do a good enough job hovering over that center and you know pulling him, pulling him away from uh, pulling him away from the blitz here. Let's try that again though. And it's tough with two controllers as well, right? Get him over there. Finally get the looper. That's exactly what we're looking to do. And of course it's easier if you're not using you know two controllers in two different hands. But uh, as we go into the instant replay, you can see we're just going to hover over him. And McGovern just sits there just long enough. You can see him. He just set. He just pass blocks. Just you know goes into his pass set just long enough. Uh, you know where we, these guys can get engaged with the left guard and the left tackle. Makes it a very easy loop, hitting Mitch Trubisky and you know forcing the ball out. That's exactly what we're looking to do over there, uh, and that's that, that's that's pretty much the blitz. We'll set this up again though, you know. And again, the coverage behind it, you can set up you know however it is that you want. Again, McGovern does that. We get the B guy blitz this time. It's just a beautiful blitz with three guys, and you really can't beat you know dropping eight and still getting pressure with three. And I did say I wanted to show you guys this blitz with a blocking running back here, or just a blocking uh, player to the other side of the blitz here. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Again, dropping all these guys into coverage. 
only sending our three guys, and we will show you here. We just blocked up James Cook. You can imagine a tight end blocking, you know, it's on the on the other side where James Cook is as well. You could same exact deal, but we're just gonna run this blitz and show you exactly what we're looking at and you can see it still gets in so they're going to block six guys we're only going to send three and we're still going to get pressure out of that deal and i think that is uh that's that's kind of amazing i'm not exactly sure how that even happens again blocking up six five offensive linemen plus a running back the running backs don't always do the best job i guess of, of, of blocking in general but just sending the blitz at them and again, getting pressure with three guys, very nice right here. And I just want to show you with the with a tight end going to that side as well, because maybe you say, well, the running back isn't isn't that great at blocking anyway. They don't pick up anything on the blitz regardless. So let's go on ahead and send Dawson Knox to the other side, throw him on on a blocking uh, a blocking route here, and you can see the looper still comes in. So this, I mean, here, <laughs> of course, Mitch Trubisky is going to shut him off and just make me look bad. But the looper still comes in, and they're still blocking six guys. And oh my God, Mitch Trubisky is just hanging around in the pocket. That's crazy right there. And real quick, just for fun, I just want to block up seven guys to the opposite side of the blitz. Uh, you know, you can just imagine, you know, have seven guys running back and tight end to the same side of the field blocking up. You know, your opponent really thinks they have it blocked up here. Let's just put everybody in zones like we do. And you're going to see, I mean, you still get the blitz to come in and they're sending they're blocking up seven guys so just very very weird blitz and this blitz is just really really good coming off this left side but of course the coverage i do got to say this we're on the internet so i have to say this part the coverage behind it you are going to have to play to your opponent you can't just call you know you can't just drop this guy into a hook every time and then drop you know drop anzalone into a flat that's gonna, not going to work every time a good player is going to eventually expose this you know they're going to throw where the blitz is coming from they're, they're going to beat your blitz eventually if you're just running the same coverages over and over and over again so you know maybe instead of dropping anzalone into the flat you can man him up on the running back or something like that you know you have to you have to mix up your coverages uh in your game i just have to say that because we are on we are on the internet but running the blitz here, again, getting the looper, McGovern just sits, I mean, he just sits there just long enough. That one, he actually sat there a very long time. But we just keep getting this looper blitz. I mean, I'm just going to keep running it here again. Boom. Sets enough. B got blitz comes in. It's such a good blitz. And it's just real. It's just a really, really nasty blitz, to be honest with you. And one thing that can happen uh, with this one is, is Mosley, your, you know, your slot guy here, he kind of lines up a little bit closer to, you know, depending on the alignment of the offense and stuff like that. Of course, we're in base, but uh, sometimes these alignments don't always match up to what they should be that you're calling on the field for whatever reason. I don't, I don't know why. That's an EA problem, not a me and you problem. But sometimes he does line up a little bit closer to, um, you know, uh, closer to this left end here. And that's okay. I mean, as long as he's not, you know, super close like this, which, which can happen depending on the offensive alignment. But the wider he is over here, the better chance of our looper coming in uh, over the edge here. So, again... Just running it again. Here we actually get the B gap, and he kind of gets blocked, but, I mean, we're going to get the sack anyway right there. And I can't overemphasize, we are still dropping eight in coverage, which is just fantastic. I mean, it's really, really good. And then, of course, the evolution of this sort of blitz is, is subbing in all of these guys like we talked before. I mean, you probably don't want DJ Reader dropping into coverage. You know, you probably don't want McNeil dropping into coverage if he would be the other guy. You know, uh, you, you want versatile players that... Uh, are typically fast you know you want a lot of speed like like we do in every single madden we want a lot of speed we want zone coverage you know we want versatile players that can do a little bit of both speed and zone coverage uh you know that's really what that's really the two attributes we're kind of looking for for these other guys and then of course our blitzers acceleration that's what that's like i said before that's exactly what we're looking for and you can just see i mean here I, that's actually a good i'm glad we got that clip in there because it's not going to be 100 percent. if there's a blitz that comes out there 100 percent of the time you need to let me know what this guy's youtube is so i can subscribe to him as well because there just isn't one out there but i really just wanted to get this blitz out and i mean i just want to keep running it here you can see it, it just comes in with such consistency and like but for real though i mean somebody will beat this blitz they're gonna have quick answers to it i know it's a quick blitz and we're only sending three dropping eight but they're you know you can't just call it every single play if you call it you know 10 15 20 times in a game you know your opponent is going to key in on that and they're going to see exactly what's happening especially being that we aren't auto flipping you know and the blitz is always going to be coming off off this left edge here you know that's a little bit of a disadvantage for us so we really have to be you know pick and choose our spots where we're going to send this blitz like i said we're not going to be able to send it uh, maybe may i don't know how many times you want to send it, but you can't send it 15 20 times a game and expect it to work every single time that's that's a little outlandish that's a little crazy but you can see very 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 good blitz you're going to get that b gap you're going to get that edge heat uh, and a, a, this is actually very surprising as well. Not very surprising, I guess, but a lot of the times you do get that looper, uh, you know, the edge heat there. But we're, we're kind of getting uh, the B gap to come through a pretty good amount of times here, which is even better yet, like I said. So very, very nice blitz here from the Sugar Week, Dime Sugar Week. 
maybe my favorite blitz I found this year in the game. Uh, it's only sending three, dropping eight. I mean, it's basically like a simulated pressure that comes in, you know, 80% of the time. I don't know. I don't have a number on it. And I don't want to keep you guys too long. That's pretty much all I have for this one. Super simple blitz, easy to set up. You got to set your coverage up behind it. Of course, you know, I don't know who you're playing on the field. I don't know what your opponent's running. So you have to do that part. But this blitz is very nice, very consistent. And again, we're dropping eight, only sending three. You really can't beat that. On your way out, drop a like, subscribe to the channel. We have defensive schemes, offensive schemes, a little bit of gameplay stuff on the weekend where we dive into some team schemes and stuff like that. Check out the film room or film reviews uh, on the channel. I do a little bit of everything here on the game. Try to just make us all smarter, better Madden players. And the game is better whenever we're all not running gun bunch and, you know, gun snugs and just meta formations. The game is more fun whenever we're all running our same stuff or we're all running different stuff, not the same stuff. Uh, and yeah, it's just a more fun game. We're all trying to cook up, you know, some different schemes. So I think that's all my rambling at the end of this one. I appreciate you guys watching the video, clicking like and all that good stuff. And uh, with that, I hope to catch you guys in the next one. Later.